Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Ahmed Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco on his successful surgery. His Majesty wished the Moroccan King lasting good health and the Moroccan people further progress and prosperity under the leadership of King Mohammed. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict 7 of 2020 adding Item 9 to Article 1 of Edict 9 of 2019 on restructuring the Council of Water Resources. Item 9 adds as member of the Council the President of the Sustainable Energy Authority. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired the cabinet meeting remotely in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Secretary General Dr. Yasser Al Nasser made the following statement. The cabinet praised the initiative of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister regarding the International Day of Conscience and its importance in enhancing peace, especially during the current situation faced by the world. The cabinet expressed thanks and appreciation to the UNESCO for allocating this day, which reflects the high status of the policies of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the awareness of the people of Bahrain and directed to intensify monitoring to ensure the commitment of all citizens and residents to the preventive and precautionary measures of the kingdom. His Royal Highness then approved allocating a day for the Bahraini doctor, which will fall on the first Wednesday of November of every year, in addition to allocating an award by the name of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to honor distinguished Bahraini doctors, which aims to appreciate the tremendous efforts of the medical cadres. His Royal Highness then followed up on a meeting on the on meeting the housing needs of the Salhiya village and directed to allocate a housing project there and directed the Minister of Housing to pay the village a visit. His Royal Highness then requested the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance to study the initiatives proposed by the BCCI and the Bahraini Businessmen Association regarding the sectors affected by the corona crisis and their impacts on the local economy. His Royal Highness also directed to implement the appropriate mechanisms to activate the marine wealth law and intensify monitoring in order to regulate fishing and preserving the marine resources. His Royal Highness was then briefed by the Minister of Labor and Social Development on the measures t taken to support owners of private to transport students, private buses to transport students, especially during the current circumstances. Based on the recommendation of the Coordinating Committee led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Cabinet approved issuing a draft decree by law on the inclusion of emergency expenses in the state's general budget for the fiscal year 2020. The cabinet also approved the issuance of a draft decree by law on amending some provisions of the reorganization and bankruptcy law and decided to take the necessary constitutional and legal procedures. In implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, the cabinet reviewed a report from the Minister of Oil on the environmental projects and initiatives implemented in Mahamir and neighboring areas through BAPCO and GPIC and approved proposals to further improve the environmental situation in Mahamir, reduce environmental loads in the area and study a strategic assessment of the environmental impacts. It directed to quickly implement these proposals in coordination between the Ministry of Oil and the Supreme Council for Environment. The Cabinet also reviewed a report from the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning on including a plan to develop the infrastructure of Karzakan and ensures the development of internal roads and the sewage network. The Cabinet discussed a report presented by the Minister of Labor and Social Development on the electronic platform to accelerate the communication between the Ministry, employers and job seekers and to multiply and facilitate recruitment proce processes by linking employer data and their needs for cadres with the data of job seekers in addition to the services through which registration, employment, training and insurance against unemployment are provided. The Cabinet approved a proposal on exempting tenants of state-owned shops from the monthly rent for three months due to the conditions of the spread of the coronavirus pandemic and also decided to stop collecting rents from tenants from stores owned by the Escan Bank. The Cabinet approved a proposal to limit the financial package announced by the government at a value of 4.3 billion dinars to small and medium private sector companies and institutions that have been negatively affected by the precautionary measures to, the, to combat the coronavirus in Bahrain. The meeting approved a proposal to tighten con controls on markets with regards to medical and preventive tools. 
The Cabinet approved the government's response on a proposal concerning the specified monthly installment at the beginning of benefiting from housing services provided by the Ministry of Housing. The Cabinet also approved the government's response on a proposal to build a secondary school for boys in the Badaya village. The Cabinet took note of the results of the conference held on the occasion of the 75th anniversary of the issuance of the United Nations Charter and the results of the extraordinary meeting of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation Executive Committee at the level of foreign ministers. It also took note on the results of the meeting of the Health Ministers' Council for GCC states. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 7 of 2020 on restructuring the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority Board chaired by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism. The new BTEA panel includes the following members for four-year renewable terms. The CEO of EDB, Gulf Air CEO, BCCI First Deputy Chairman, Travel and Tourism Agent Society Chairman, Mumtalakat Representative Muhammad Sharif Ahmadi, Quraysh Ahmed Dadabai, Noura Nabil Zain, and Hamid Rashid Halal. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Economic Development Board Chairman issued Edict 1 of 2020, restructuring the Bahrain Board's Board of Directors. The new panel includes the following members for a three-year term. Abdul Karim Ahmed Bouchiri, Hassan Amin Jarrar, Yasser Abdul Jalil Sharifi, Dina Abdul Karim Lansari, Ali Yusuf Al Fardan, Abdurrahman Hamad Al Zayani, Matthew Daikin, Saleh Hassan Hussain, and Nargis Muhammad Al Qasir. The Minister of Information Ali Rumehi praised the directives and initiatives, initiatives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in dealing with the coronavirus pandemic, considering it an example to be followed in media which is responsible in influencing the awareness of society and motivating it to participate positively in maintaining public health and safety. The minister also commend, commended the directors of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, to all ministries and government agencies to communicate with the media and respond effectively to citizens' complaints and concerns, expressing pleasure with the role of the national media as a pivotal partner in supporting the dedicated efforts of Team Bahrain, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Romeh expressed thanks and appreciation to the national media and press, press cadres for their commitment to honesty and objectivity in spreading news quickly and accurately and their role in promoting social awareness and rejecting any malicious attempt to politicize or misuse humanitarian crises. The Governor of Muharraq Salman al Mannai affirmed that the Governorate is receiving support from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa in all the projects that are taking place in the Governorate, especially with regards to infrastructure. He conveyed the thanks and appreciation of the people of Muharraq to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in a meeting held remotely with a number of citizens as part of the Tarabat Tar program held by the Bahrain Institute for Political Development in cooperation with the Ministry of Interior and within the framework of implementing the initiatives of the National Plan to Enhance National Belonging and the Values of Citizenship, Our Bahrain, the governor pointed out that the efforts of the governorate in cooperation with all the concerned authorities in light with the corona pandemic through many vital projects including the sterilization of commercial areas, cities, housing complexes and provision of food for expatriate workers and reducing the number of workers in residential neighborhoods under the directors of the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa in addition to other efforts that support the work of the National Task Force to combat the corona pandemic led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 5,301 with 379 recoveries and 370 registered new cases. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules and affirm the importance of following instructions such as washing hands with soap on a regular basis along with avoiding shaking hands and close contact. Moreover, covering the nose and mouth when sneezing and avoiding public places when possible. <laughs> 